All right, guys, welcome back to our channel. Don't forget, before we get started, click that subscribe button, hit the notifications, and give us a huge thumbs up. Today, we're getting a bit washy. Let's have a look. Put some other gloves on for what we're going to do. I did do a video last night, but lost it all, so uh, there's a bit of a gap in what the, uh, the PTA works are going to be done. But what I can say is, we've taken it all to pieces, in some kind of manner, anyway. So now I'll put it in degrease all overnight, uh, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to wash it. So you can join me as wash it, and there's some also there's some news later on the casing. Touch and go. Who knows? Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to soak these overnight degreaser. I'm going to jet wash them all off. As you guys can see, they're really filthy. All the components. Clean ones, that's a clean. Clean, shiny. He took the paint off. So now you can see, let me show you. Now you can see, all nice, shiny parts. Ready to go back on again, soon. So, back to the workshop. I like that. Some things. So you can see it's still loads of rust and stuff on it. Touch pounds. So we're gonna have to tie these all up. Still loads of gunk on them. So I managed to get lots of paint off that though. Rust. How can internal of a gearbox have rust in it?
got a fan in there. The other end of the bearing. So we're going to have to get that out. Don't know how. We'll do that in a minute. And it wasn't a 13mm spanner. I'm sorry.
improved a bit. Don't forget, if you like seeing me playing with the tractors, subscribe button, thumbs up. How many other videos you see on YouTube to show you how to strip and rebuild a 1967 PTO unit? Off a boat, but it looks like it come off a Land Rover. Where's it coming from? Where that goes. 
So sales in good condition, not leaking any oil. So what else could it be? Further investigation, the case in, found out this. Someone had put a stud in crack size in here. And what it's done is split the casing. As you can see, there's a big hole. So what we're going to have to do, and then what they've done, they've taken it out, well, they've put the stud in, they've split the casing, and then taken this out and dropped it on the pin. So if you look again, you can see the fracture lines where they've dropped it on here. So potentially, we ain't going to get this go again, are we? If it leaks oil, what are we going to do? Fortunately, we've got the TIG welder and we should be able to deal with this schnizzle. This is what we do. So previously, I've ground it back. Uh, I'll get the video down in a minute and show you what what's happened. But, uh, I'll do that in a minute, actually. I'll get the video. So after all that, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a video about what we've been doing, a bit of cleaning, taking the bearings out. The bearings have gone away for uh, replacement. I'm going to save this for the next video. Have a good one.